In this episode, I will show you how you can make a power folding mirror for your car by using a microcontroller and the H bridge. Hello guys, welcome to another episode at IB Electronics World. In the previous episode I explained how you can set up the ADC and uh, in this episode I will explain how you can use the ADC in order to detect the overcurrent in the A-bridge by using a sound resistor. I have defined the RB7 pin of this microcontroller and RB10 as switches for the mirror on the vehicle. The ignition it will be RB7 and the, just the regular switch to open and close the mirror it will be RB10. I have defined the transistor Q6 and Q4 which is connected to the gate of these MOSFETs. These two pins here in the microcontroller and I have defined the opening, the closing and the threshold of uh, the overcurrent. I have created an array which is called metric with four elements and I have defined the ADC sun which is going to check the analog pins 0, zero 1 and 4 and 5. Zero, 1 it will be for the left and 4 5 for the right mirror. In the main function I have created some logic and I'm saying once the metric element 0 is uh, greater than the threshold you should stop your motor and metric one again when it's greater than the threshold should stop the motor by activating the ignition switch when it's equal to zero and the previous value is equal to zero and again for the switch when it's not equal to the previous value continue is for the metric number two and metric number four again same condition when they are greater than the overcurrent stop moving. This is for the right mirror. Today we are going to implement on the left mirror. Here is the configuration pins. I have set all the pins into the digital. In our case we are going to use only these two, analog 1 and analog 2, which is A0 and A1. The ADC is exactly the same configuration as the previous episode. If you haven't seen my previous episode, you need to understand how you will set up the ADC. And then we are going to the attribute of the ADC interrupt and what we are doing, we have a buffer which is storing to the result variable and the result is then stored to the matrix array into the element sum which is increasing every time by 1 and when it reaches the level of 3 and it's, it goes to a greater value it will go back to 0. Then we are starting the ADC conversion and then the sampling and I have then created another function which is for the left mirror only. When it stops the mirror, when these two transistors are off, and when it opening the mirror is when the Q4 is number one, and when we are closing the mirror, the other way around, when the Q6 is equal to one. Let's go back and analyze our design. Here you can see that I'm using the same H bridge as in the last episode and here is the motor I have connected the motor here I'm using four MOSFET 2 and channel 2 bit channel and pull up resistor in order to switch them off and I have connected the gate 2 NPN transistors Q4 and Q6 which are controlled by the microcontroller which is here from the pin number RB4 and RA4. Some extra in this H bridge components are two resistors, which are called SAN resistors, and they are called SAN because they have very small values, almost about 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. So this means if the the voltage when we have the overcurrent it's 620 millivolt 
over the 0 0.5 of the resistor, you can find the current. So by doing this calculation here, you can detect the current, you can write in your code, once you reach that point, stop the motor. Because in our case, this motor, it will not stop and it will continue push and probably you will damage your motor. So you need to detect the overcurrent and stop it. So these two low side resistors are connected to the analog input A0 and analog input A1 pin. And I'm using also some Zener dies in order to protect my microcontroller because in some cases it can exceed the 5 volt and it can burn your microcontroller. Here I have connected two switches. One is for the ignition. So uh, once you, have, you will press the ignition switch, it will start the motor opening. And once you turn in the other side the switch, you, you can close the, the mirror. And again, I'm using some Zener diodes just for protection. Back to the hardware now, you can see that I'm using a multimeter in order to measure the current on the left side, and I'm using the oscilloscope in order to measure the edge bridge on the right side. By clicking on this switch here, you can open the motor and by changing the position actually can you see here the spike so in this point here we have 0 0.56 volts which means 0 0.56 volts divided by 0 0.5 which is the resistor it's 1.12 amps so I have made it slightly more sensitive in order to avoid damaging the motor. If I will change the position here to the left, the switch, you can see that the motor it will continue rotating from the opposite direction, so closing the mirrors. And again, if you want just to open the mirror, you need to click on that, and I can leave it, and it can continue, continue move. And again, if I, I will uh, change it to the other direction, you can see that once it reaches the end of the travel, you can see the overcharge and the curious, and we are just stopping the motor because we have programmed it on this microcontroller. Here, you can see that is the two sand resistors are very small values. Let's zoom in and try to focus on this one. Here is the sound resistor, and here the second sound resistor, which is in the low side connected. Mm -hmm.